really quick video. I'm going to call this iFit Maintenance. The reason I'm calling it iFit Maintenance is because I have really, really been looking at my X22i as best as possible because all the modifications that I've made it, I've made on it, I want to make sure that it's running in tip-top shape. And in order to do that, you have to make sure that there's nothing running in the background that might be eating up, um, that might be eating up resources. So you notice I just booted up. Now, if I leave this alone, I think I fit automatically kicks in because there's a loader option. So I, I will keep messing around, but it could switch over to iFit, but I wanted to show you this. I just booted up my machine. I'm going to go into settings. Now watch this. I'm going to go into apps. These are all the apps that I have downloaded. I'm going to swipe to the left and it shows you what's running. Take a look at this. Isn't that sneaky? This AP Cure, APK Pure, which you may have installed in order to get uh, the Peloton app on your machine, starts on its own at boot up. So I could possibly go in there to the APK Pure um, software and see if I could change it so it doesn't start at boot up. Let's see if that is an option. Let's come here, swipe up. Start APK Pure, now get ready, don't get too dizzy, it's gonna go sideways. And see if there's an option. If not, I'm just going to uninstall it because I only needed it for uh, the installation of Peloton. And it'll, I'll still have the software out there, the APK file. So if I ever needed to reinstall it, I would just reinstall APK Pure first. So what I'm trying to say is I would if I ever needed to install anything that from the APK uh, Pure site that was a bundled software package, I could just reinstall the APK Pure app and then I would install the package. So let's see if, again, I'm calling this maintenance because I honestly don't like the fact. And we've talked about this. Do not update any of these unless you check first to make sure that these versions that they're recommending will work with your version of Android. Okay? Here's a perfect example. It wants me to update my Amazon Prime video. It wants me to update it to 30270. Let's go check 37270. Let's, um, let's swipe up. I have to swipe to the left, right? Actually, we could do it right from here. I believe if I go to the main page on APK Pure, uh, it will show me, let's see. Install, download. These are the ones that are all installed. Updates. Oh, how do I, okay, let's just do it this way. Let's go to the web browser. We'll go on APK Pure and we'll see. Oh, look, I already have it in there. This is a developer site. I don't want that. Ah, of course. Oh, and then I got to ah, I'm getting dizzy. So another web browser in here. I'll type in a I think I'm just clicking too many things. A B K pure. Not to worry about that. Search that the green one. And I'm gonna search for Amazon Prime. video there it is now swipe up APK pure is still here the actual app 
I'm gonna switch everything to the right again. <clears throat> ah, I guess I could have searched from here. This is what I was looking for. But instead, I'm gonna go right here. Ah, there it is. So I guess I could have just clicked on that to get to that site and come to the update. So it's at the updates. It's telling me that I should update to 30270-48945. You remember that, right? 48945, okay? 48945. 48945. Let's see what they have. 48945. 48945. So it's trying to go to 48945, not 48947. It's trying to go here to this one. Let's click on those three dots and see. Ah. That's pretty smart. It's for Android 5. I like that. Wow, that's a very intelligent. That's pretty cool. It didn't want me to upgrade to 48947. I wonder why. Oh, sorry. It's starting to download. <laughs> you gotta be careful what you click here. Oh, I guess I could have got 48947 as well. Huh, okay. So, um, hmm. that's something I'll do later on. If you install, that's what I guess APK is a pretty, pretty interesting. It'll look at your APK files and if it has a later, later one, it'll update for you. Hmm. I think I like that. It's, it's a one and all management tool, or at the very least, it'll tell you to go out there and download it. But that's not why I came here. The reason I came here is because that app starts at boot up and takes up resources. So I need to find out where. I can turn that off and it's not here, it's not here, it's not here, it's not here. I'm not sure where it is. APK management, it's not there. It's not under installed, it's not under downloads, it's not under updates. This is just the top of my screen. I honestly don't know how to get to that hamburger. That, well, here, oh, here it is, app management. So click on app management and it'll come back to the main screen. Ah, uh, down here, here you go. Home, store, community, and me. Let's go to me. And here's some options. Oh no, it's just telling me that I can come in here and change some themes. Uh, I can change app management, messages. Ah, there it is. I found it. You see that little cog over there? So how do you get to that cog? I guess if you're at the home page, it's not here. You click on me, and there's that little cog right there. I'm not sure what that smiley face does. Let's click it. Oh, you can contact them. It allows you to contact them if you want. That's not what I want. I'm gonna go to that little cog. See it? It's very, very faint. They're yeah, pretty slick, APK Pure. They don't want you coming in here. Aha! Okay, so here we go. Language, region, data saver, download via Wi Fi, enable. Uh, I'm looking for always start or something. Installation option, download, show notifications, delete package after installation. I don't like that. I like keeping it. Replies, like, app updates available. That's pretty cool. Check for updates. Contributed permissions. Maybe permissions? I don't see anything here that says do not boot at startup. Okay, so that's enough on that. I'm going to swipe up. Oh, what did I just do? Swipe that back. You to be careful. App updates though. Okay, so actually swipe to the left. Go in there. I'm going to close that. Close my browser. Go back into settings and once again apps not that i downloaded but i want to swipe to the left and see what's running and <clears throat> i guess when i turned it off it it didn't run but you see i have this es file explorer which i need to stop what? 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 Again, just be very careful. You don't want to turn off settings or any of these because these are these four should always be in there. 
Okay, so at the very least, do me a favor, go into your um, settings. Right there. Go into your apps. You'll see it says downloaded, swipe to the left. It'll say running and make sure that uh, you don't have anything running that shouldn't because it's just eating resources, okay? So um, look what I'm using. I'm using this much memory. The apps are using that much. So if I click on apps, it doesn't do anything. Let's see if I click on Bluetooth share, it just shows me some information. But if you install the APK Pure, in order for you to install the, uh, the Peloton, either uninstall it or actually you can do this as you saw what I just did. Let's see. You, yeah, I would uninstall it because you'll have it on downloads. Where's my download uh, here? So if I go to downloads, the APK Pure is right there. So you'll always have it. So I'm going to uninstall it. How do I uninstall it? Oh look, I actually downloaded the Amazon Prime. I'll do this later. Let me let me get rid of that. But uh, it's a good thing. Now, I, so that's another thing you should do. You should always keep your apps updated. Always have the latest and greatest apps. How do you uninstall something? You hold it, and then you bring it up here. Uninstall. <clears throat> yes, I want to uninstall this. Why? Because I don't like anything that's running in the background. And we looked, we couldn't find it anywhere. Okay, so this is a quick video. Uh, I thought it was a quick video on doing a little bit of maintenance. Close, close. Is iFit still running? Of course not. That would have been cool if iFit was real, still running. But instead, uh, I'll just restart it. Well, it'll restart it on its own. It may come up and say, oh, okay, there it is. Let's go, let's get right in and see if you can see the pixels. You know, after all is said and done, this is a great display. Is um, the no need to compare it to the Peloton, no need to compare it to others. Is it the best display? No. Is it 4K? No. But you know what? I'm running on this treadmill and I'm, I have this big 22 inch screen in front of me that's motivating the heck out of me. If you got the 32 inch, hey, that's even great. Hey, some good news. I got a, I have, I got a comment from someone that just bought an X11i and he was able to cast onto a bigger TV and he said that after uh, about 30 seconds to a minute or so, the buffering issues actually fixed themselves and it was actually very good. So that's an option you might wanna try. Uh, if you have the option to cast, you might want to try to see if uh, if that's an option uh, that you might want to use. Or at the very least, if you're going to buy and you have an option to test it out at a store or something, once all this pandemic finishes, you might want to try casting and see if that's an option, even though the texts are going to tell you it's not an option. But I'm glad to hear that this person was able to cast. He actually saved 1500 bucks. Yep. Okay. So... um I think that's it. And again, remember about that on air. I'm just going to click it really quick just to show you what's happening tonight. It is 8.54, May 12th. And on Wednesday, there's some sort of boxing workout. But what about tonight? Is there anything that's still happening tonight? It's going to be 9 o'clock. Hey, 9 p.m. Look at that, starting in less than five minutes. Now, this is not live. I I know that trainer, I've seen that trainer before, and I've seen this workout, this Playa Corro Salito VO2 Max interval run in Costa Rica. So it looks as if um, this is a mix. This uh, on air is a mix of, of workouts that exist, and they're like rebroadcast, or they're broadcast so that you don't have to click on them, and then a mixture of, of live workouts. Like if I go tomorrow, tomorrow there'll be a workout at five in the morning where it doesn't say live. So the ones that are live are these. They'll have a little live uh, mark right next to it. So, okay. This video wasn't for um, that. It was to show you a little bit of maintenance. So once again, if you've installed APK Pure, go into settings. Go into apps.
swipe once to the left, running, and make sure that nothing's running in the background that you may have installed. If it is, stop it, okay? Just hit it and hit stop, but don't mess with these. And if you mess with something and you stop it by accident, and you just reboot your system if you can't get through. Alrighty then, let's see if iFit will play nice and let me go back. Yay! All right, see y'all later. Hit the like button, comment, and as always, subscribe. Thank you.